The day many of us have been waiting for has finally come. It's the early access release day today of Disney Dreamlight Valley, and we are all so excited because it's been compared with lots of our favorite games like Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, and even Rune Factory 5 for the adventure and exploration, and The Sims for the vast customization options it seems to have. It's meant to be that mix of a life sim and adventure, but you're set in this charming Disney world surrounded by your favorite Disney and Pixar characters. So without further ado, let's enter Dreamlight Valley together. Let's start a new game. I think a lot of people on YouTube are probably going to be there playing. There once was a dream world in which familiar friends from the most heroic to the most villainous lived together in harmony. However, as time passed, the forgetting set in, and the world fell into darkness. Until you arrived. Until we arrived. You have the That's power right. To make it special again. <laughs> With your help, this dream world can grow back into something magical. It looks so good. <gasps> this is a place where you'll have no worries. Where you'll wish time could get frozen. <laughs> where you can find a friend in everyone. And feed your passions. A place where you can cooking. find yourself at home. Gardening. Oh my gosh. This is a place where every day is a dream come true. I can't wait this to decorate our is house. Dreamlight Valley. This is Dreamlight Valley. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I do want to quickly give a shout out to Gameloft for giving us a review code of Disney Dreamlight Valley for Steam. However, I did want to try it out for the Nintendo Switch since we do mostly Nintendo Switch videos on the channel and it is my preferred way to play most of the time so I think that many of you might be curious to see how it runs on Switch as well. So I went ahead and purchased it and we will be playing it on Switch for this video, but on the later half of the video I will also show how it runs briefly on um, Steam, just so you can see a little bit of a comparison. For now, let's jump right in and start with a new game. <laughs> I can't believe that it's finally here. Now, I can't remember if it was a Nintendo Direct or the trailer just dropped online, but I remember thinking, you know, this was everything. <laughs> Anything Disney already gets the automatic nostalgia points from me. I did download the avatar creation tool on Steam um, when it first came out, but I wanted to put together an avatar together with you guys to show everything that is here. I love being able to make an avatar of ourselves in the Disney art style. Definitely a Disney fangirl moment for me, you know? <laughs> here we can choose different eyeshadow styles also. We'll just do a brown eye. <laughs> very, very simple. Eyebrows, lots of options. I think I'll go with this one. And the different nose types. And then for the mouth, a range of options again. And like the eyeshadow, there's different lipstick um, styles as well. So it's like a matte lip or a gloss or a two-tone lip. For jaw, we'll do something a little bit rounder because I do have a rounder face shape for sure. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of blush, so I'm going to add quite a bit. I think freckles are gorgeous. I know I don't really have them, but I think I'm going to just add like a super light super light dusting oh you can add birthmarks as well but we will skip that today i think freckles and moles and things like that are so gorgeous but we do not have any of that unfortunately should we do like a more basic brunette style or should we do something fun i feel like we should do something fun this low braid is so pretty giving me elsa vibes and then shorter hairstyles as well. This is so cute. I feel like we're gonna have to do a fun color just because, just because. <laughs> Ooh, 
Low Pony. I do like that one. Oh, cute. I think we're gonna have to do something fun like this color here. I kind of like this body color. I love that there's a range of different um, skin tones for sure. I think we'll go with this sort of olivey, olivey complexion and then different body shapes. We will be skipping facial hairs today, um, but you do have a lot of options as well. I think this is our girl. I am, again, really curious how easily we can change her looks once we started. It doesn't seem like there's a way to pick outfits right now, um, but we'll just go with it. I should say that Gameloft did give us the Ultimate Edition for Steam, but I only got the basic um, or the base Our story version. Begins with an ending. As you decide, it's time to leave the city behind. Yearning for a pause from life's responsibilities. You arrive. Is that going to be our house? Place. A quick stroll along a nearby path leads you to a spot where, as a child, you found that life was simpler. It looks and almost a touch of imagination. Watercolor esque would come true. <sighs> Finding the perfect place for a rest, you begin remembering these long lost dreams and oh, drift off to sleep. The nostalgia. Imagine waking up in a Disney world, guys. What would you do in that scenario? I think, I don't know if I'd ever want to leave. <laughs> but yes, this is um, the base version on the Nintendo Switch. Like I mentioned, we got the Ultimate Pack on Steam. But if anyone's curious on how the game plays, if you just want the base pack, um, if there's going to be a lot of, you know, customization options as well, um, clothing, design, etc., then I wanted to be able to um, share that in this gameplay slash first impressions on the Nintendo Switch. Ooh. Disney Dreamlight Valley. The castle looks so beautiful. <gasps> That's Merlin. Oh, we're nodding off. <gasps> there we are. Oh, hello. What's this? Are my spectacles enchanted or might you actually be real? I don't know. Are you real, Merlin? <laughs> hmm, that's quite an existential question, exactly. <laughs> I'll have to ponder it later. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me. I haven't met anyone in ages. Ahem. Welcome to Dreamlight Valley, my friend. Thank you. Dreamlight Valley, this place is strangely beautiful. This place is so cool. I want to explore it. Quite understandable. Why, in all my travels, I've yet to find another realm is filled with magic and wonder. In its present state, however, it's a... Uh, well, it's a sorry sight indeed. <laughs> Oh, but I haven't introduced myself yet. You're no doubt wondering who I am. Duh, you're Merlin. <laughs> it's so strange. I almost feel like I know you. You're a great and powerful wizard, right? <laughs> well, yes, but not just any uh -huh. wizard. I'm a soothsayer, a prognosticator. I have the power to see into the future. <laughs> and I'm also quite skilled at alchemy and... Prestidigitation? Press, press to digitation. I have never seen that word before. <laughs> now that that's settled, there's a small matter of who you are. Me? I'm Cat. Cat, hmm? Well, the only way to get to Dreamlight Valley is to pass through <gasps> dreams. So you must also possess great magic. Otherwise, how could you be here? Um, I don't know how I got here. I just closed my eyes and drifted off and all of a sudden I was here. 
Magic had nothing to do with it. It's kind of like um, Alice in Wonderland, right? She dozed off and then later she just found herself into this Wonderland. <laughs> quite the contrary. Magic had everything to do with it. In fact, I'm quite certain that you're the one we've been waiting for. You're going to save Dreamlight Valley. No pressure. <laughs> well. If we're to restore the valley to what it was, a place of magic, of wonder, of friendship. Oh. We need to stop the forgetting once and for all. We must, we must. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't seem to remember what we were talking about. The forgetting? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the forgetting. What a fitting name. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me, but now you can see where uh -huh. it gets its, yes. yep, gets its name. I get it. All right, listen closely and I'll tell you the tale before I forget again. Dreamlight Valley used to be a cheerful place full of happy villagers. <gasps> wow, life was flourishing thanks to our ruler's magic. Look how lively it used to be. Until one day our ruler left without a trace and the forgetting came. Our memories began to fade and Dreamlight Valley became a shadow of its former self. We did our best to preserve the memories of the life that had been. Those thorns are kind of scary. As I can see into the future, I knew that someday someone would come to help restore the valley. Oh. I'm ready to help restore the valley. <laughs> well, there's only one way to be absolutely certain. You are the one destined to save Dreamlight Valley from the forgetting. It'll be a small test of your magic. You see, ever since the forgetting, I've been puzzled about the, uh, about this house blocked by the night thorns. Oh. Come along, we'll investigate it together. I tip my hat to you. Though I, Thank I you, sir. Not to take it all. <laughs> I've consulted my notes and discovered that night thorns began infesting Dreamlight Valley soon after our ruler disappeared. No one, not even I, can remove the blasted things. Only someone who can harness the magic of Dreamlight will be able to, and I'm certain that someone is you, cat. Feel the magic within yourself and say the magic word. Abracadabra, Higitus, Figitus, or Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. Uh, Abracadabra. Classic. <laughs> exactly. He gets it. Straight to the point and quite a classic. <laughs> little swish and flick. Aha, uh -huh, you've done it. Bravo, bravo. Cat, this proves you can harness the power of dreamlike magic. Well then, there's no time to lose. So let's go inside and see what's become of this house. <gasps> Cobwebs. Very dirty, dilapidated. Is this going to be our house? Oh dear, the night thorns have made their way inside the house too. That's strange. Suddenly I can't remember why we came in here. It must be the night thorns. Precisely. Being near many of them clouds the mind. You must remove them before they consume more memories. Focus your magic once again. Off with you now. Lots to do, lots to do. Will do. There is a lot to do, but hey. This place isn't too shabby. We can make it pretty, right, guys? <laughs> we even got a cozy fireplace. What is this here? Looks like... Do you think it's a memory? Fragment, maybe? Oh, There's Mickey. And Merlin. The night thorn seems to already be there. Oh, it is. Yep. Whoa, look. And all the things that we can collect. Seven hundred clothing sets, over nine hundred furniture sets, hundred sixty-four meals. Whoa! Oh my goodness, there's so much to explore. Okay, I'm gonna get distracted a few times during this. You guys, oh, I'm gonna try. Hello. I will try to focus, <laughs> but I can't promise anything. Goodness, the glowing orb you pulled from the night thorn. It's a memory. It's like a fog has lifted and I can recall something of great importance. Mickey Mouse and I were at the dream castle and we left something there. Something important. Um, let's go find it. That's the spirit. Of course, I can't remember what it was, but... But wait, there's something else returning to me. When our ruler left, the royal tools were lost, scattered throughout the valley. We must find them quickly. They're filled with ancient and powerful magic. 
the royal tools. If I could find those, then maybe I could solve the mystery of the... I mean, if they're just tools, let's keep it simple. We'll help the valley. <laughs> you have a pure heart, Cat. It's only through helping each other that we'll get out of this blasted mess. First, we must obtain the pickaxe. When the forgetting came and our ruler left, we found the pickaxe driven into a blighted stone in the what? plaza. <laughs> Come to think of it, that was around the time the sky went dark and the night thorns over on the plaza. Though it is all a bit of a muddle, I'm afraid. No one's been able to lift the pickaxe from the stone. But then, no one was you, cat. And after all, it wouldn't be the first time someone pulled something from a stone and became a hero of legend. Pull the pickaxe from the stone in the plaza. Got it. Anything else? You must also find the other three royal tools, the shovel, watering can, and fishing rod. Ah, the um, recipe for a good farming slash life sim. <laughs> You'll need them for what's to come. That is, if you're staying here with us. Um, I want to meet everyone. I'm so excited to see the Disney characters. Well, there are a few villagers scattered about and others, well, they need your help now more than ever. Of course, you'll need a safe place to eat, sleep, and keep your energy up if you're going to help them. So consider this house your home. It's got so much potential. <laughs> That's the spirit. Just as a whispered word can conjure great magic, this house holds much promise. In fact, I seem to remember that the ruler of Dreamlight Valley had a house like this once. Perhaps you'll do as much good for the valley as a ruler did. In fact, here's a little something to get you started. If you ever feel like you need a boost of energy, there's something in there that will fill you right up. Ooh. Ah, yes. Now then, I'll be at the Dream Castle. You can find me there when you're ready. Ah, All right, we do have a little bit of, a little bit of options here. We don't have um, the additional like clothing sets from the deluxe and ultimate bundle but i'm sure we'll be able to buy more clothing in a bit so i'm not super worried in canada the ultimate edition costs 90 dollars 90 canadian dollars so that's a little bit crazy to spend on what otherwise um was advertised as a free game Ooh, a chest and I know we're paying for extra items and, um, oh, what do we have here? We're paying for, uh, extra items and early access technically, but it is $90 is still a lot of money. A turquoise shirt, that's cute. And we got more apples already, perfect. <sighs> oh, there's so much. Night thorns. We got mail. Founders pack base game. Oh, we still get quite a bit of stuff from the base game. No way, I see Mickey ears. Okay, hold on. Um, before claiming your item, we suggest you sync your account to the cloud. All right, I've got my cloud account all linked up, so let's claim our rewards. Yes, okay, thank you for being amongst the first players to play Disney Dreamlight Valley. In celebration of your enthusiasm, please find attach some sweet rewards. The Choco Crocodile or Chocodile. Oh my gosh, there he is. I am not even mad that I'm not playing the Ultimate Pack. How can you not love this guy? Look at him. Oh, hold on. Where is he? Come here. I want to see him. Oh, hi. Are you trying to come to me? Hello. We can approach squirrels in Disney fashion. Let's give him an apple. Do you like that little buddy? Ooh, it looks like he did. We got some flowers. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let's pause real quick. little guy and he's leaving like I don't know what he's leaving little star things it looks like the star fragments from Animal Crossing <laughs> okay let's put on I really want to put on the Mickey ears I mean 
I see no reason to get the ultimate pack, to be completely honest. If we get a chocodile, this is everything. <laughs> we get this one. Oh, this is cute too. But I want to match with a chocodile, so I'm wearing the donut headband, obviously. Oh, cute. This matches our hair too. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Find Merlin at the dream castle. Is this the same squirrel? Are you following us? I will give you more apples. Oh, hello. Hello. Cat, this is the dream castle. It holds many secrets. Uh, answers. Uh, oh, bless uh -huh. it all. <laughs> I can't seem to remember what's inside. So he's just pretending. All right, Merlin. <laughs> I bet that inside the castle we'll find, I think, more mysteries. There's no doubt the castle will have its share of mysteries to oh. solve, but I'm hopeful it also holds the answers we seek, uh -huh. such as the secret to restoring Dreamlight Valley to its former glory. Um, so let's go inside. Easier said than done, Cat. Oh, he's angry now. <laughs> the night thorns that encase the dream castle are unlike any you've done with before. I'm. This is all new to me. You're making it sound like I've dealt with lots of night thorns. <laughs> They're stronger and will take more of your magic to defeat. Follow me, there's still much to show you. I couldn't have done better myself. Wait. Hope. Where are you going in such a rush, Merlin? Well, hello! <laughs> hello again. Everything in Dreamlight Valley is made of, well, dreamlight. Well. It's the sparkles you see over everything and everyone, even a wizard such as myself. But dreamlight became scarcer and scarcer as the forgetting fell over the valley. Ever since you arrived, though, the magic has started to come back. The magic is connected to me. Dreamlight magic grows stronger through acts of friendship, love, and care. Simple acts like removing night thorns or forging a friendship with me. Gaze into the well and you'll discover the different tasks that will create more dreamlight. But to fully embrace the potential of dreamlight, you'll need to gather the royal tools that were lost during the forgetting. Remember, for some wizards, magic requires magical implements. You'll need those tools to save Dreamlight Valley. Mickey's been the gardener in the village since the forgetting. Perhaps he knows the whereabouts of the watering can and shovel. Let's see. Fishing. Fishing. Ah, yes. Goofy is very fond of fishing. He's sure to know where you can find the lost fishing rod. Though I haven't heard from him since the stones blocked her path to the meadow to the south. Well, you must find him so I'd start there. Okay. Off with you now. <laughs> Sounds to do, to do. good. Let's check this out. <gasps> Feed the squirrels. See? We get to collect something because we fed the squirrels. 50 dream light. And we repaired our house. I am in love with this. Okay. So he says, go find Mickey. Oh, and who's that? Is that Donald? Oh, greetings, neighbor. Scrooge McDuck, yes. <laughs> oh ho, you gave me oh, quite a start. Oh, oh. Don't you know never to sneak up on someone while he's contemplating his investments? I'm I couldn't tell you were doing that. You looked pretty stuck around the night thorns. But you're gonna need a lot more coins to get this shop out of its sorry state. I'm afraid enthusiasm won't be enough. If you help me make enough store coins to put my shop back in business. I'll make sure it's stocked with everything needed to put the valley back together. <laughs> Look at Merlin just skipping in the background. Goofy used to have a stall in the meadow to the <laughs> south. I'm sure he'd appreciate any help you can give him. The lad doesn't exactly have a mind Ooh. for money. That's rude. You'll need to find a way to break the rocks um, blocking. And when you do, find Goofy and help him get back in business. Then you can help me with my grand reopening. Oh, and I see you have a map there. Don't forget to use it if you want to find your way around the village. Thank you kindly. Thank you. We need to find Mickey too, because apparently he knows where. Um, chest. I told you guys I'm gonna get distracted easily. <laughs> We need to find Mickey because he knows where the gardening tools are, Merlin said. Ooh. 
Look, we're getting such cute stuff. We look so cute. We're matching with our chocodile. Oh, it's a black squirrel. Can I have you as a pet too? Okay, let's try to find these tools. Oh, there's the pickaxe. Well, that was easy. There it is. Pick it up. We got it. Wow. It looks like it got rid of some sort of veil. It's daytime all of a sudden. Okay. What is that? What just happened? That just let me keep um, harvesting over and over. That's our house, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm already getting lost. Typical cat. The watering can's right behind our house. Oh, it was there all along. So we can probably water this guy that's like drying out. <gasps> How fun! I'm gonna need to just use my eyes a bit better, apparently, because this was right in our backyard, literally. And I missed it. A backpack. A black polo shirt. I kind of like our outfit right now though. Nice and colorful. Going back to our house restored our um, energy to max. So that's nice and convenient. Another bag. Oh my goodness. I'm getting greedy. I just want all the outfits. <laughs> A lava leather jacket. That sounds fancy. Check that out. That's so cute. I might even keep that on. Chest, chest, chest. Ooh, a pink bag. I don't know if we've gotten a pink bag yet. I wonder if the colors mean <gasps> engraved stone partition. That looks fancy. It's a piece of furniture. I wonder if um, the different colored bags mean different things, like if it's more rare and special or expensive. Oh, we're, is this Mickey's house? We were right by it all along. There's Mickey. Oh, hey there. Hello, cat. You know who I am? <laughs> oh boy, am I glad to see you. Mickey Mouse. Um, I'm a big fan. Well, I'm a big fan of yours. In fact, I saw you talking to Merlin and came in to get something for you. But I can't remember... But I can't seem to remember what. It must be because of these night thorns. Okay, let's talk about Mickey. Easy peasy. A chest? Is this for me? Oh, hold on. A memory. We got a memory. Yes. Shea Remy. Um, that must be his restaurant. That used to be in the valley. A chest. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. What is that? That's a page. Hi. Oh, hot dog. It's all coming back to me now. Dreamlight Valley used to be full of friends. Like my pal Remy. He was always trying out new <laughs> recipes and I was always... <laughs> that laugh. That laugh was a bit unsettling. <laughs> and I was always happy to taste them. I also remember when Remy had to leave. He left me all his recipes to keep safe for him. Uh, where are they? I had them all over the valley, 
hoping to protect them from the forgetting. It, uh, well, it seemed like the best idea at the time. <laughs> hey, I've got an idea. Remy's recipes could help you make meals to keep your energy up while you help save the valley. There's one recipe we can get right now. The memory you found should give us a clue as to where we can find the recipe. See y'all real soon! What's this here? We got... ooh, a piece of... A, a, like a page. Puts on a good front, but I can tell he's utterly heartbroken. Minnie was his other half. Now that she's disappeared, I don't know how long it will be before... Oh, I see. It's the ruler's lost diaries. So they're like page pieces, I suppose. I was wondering... <gasps> another chest! <laughs> I was starting to wonder though where Minnie is, but... It seems like she disappeared. This is sparkling. Oh. What was that? Let's open these up first. We got... Oh, how cute. Red ears. That's so cute. Look at that. How do we like that? I wonder if they'll just keep adding to everything, really. Since the official release, or the, yeah, the main release. I don't know what to call it, but if this is early access, then that would be the main release, I suppose, of this game. From now until then, I wonder how much more they're going to update the game or add to it. So now it's synced to real time. Oh, it's dark again. Oh. The game is now synced to your time. The time will change from day to night as time passes. Characters will follow their own schedule, so look out for that. Make sure to come back daily to discover new stuff. So very um, Animal Crossing in that regard, where it's based on real time. I will say we are getting quite a bit of drop frames. A little bit of lagging as well um, on the Switch. So. In comparison to the Steam one, I am pretty curious about it. Find the location in Mickey's memory. Oh, there it is. Shay Remy. There it is. And we get more berries too. Shovel. We got the shovel. We're doing so well. <laughs> so proud of us. The recipe must be buried here, I would think. A chest! I love to see that. What did we get? I get so excited seeing chests now, I'm just like conditioned. A comfy black hoodie. We're getting a lot of clothes, aren't we? And it's not even um, the full first hour yet. Let's learn the recipe. A fruit salad. So we went through all this trouble for fruit salad. <laughs> all right, Mickey. We did it. We found the shovel and the recipe for fruit salad. Oh, <laughs> all, all this trouble over fruit salad. No, I'm just excited to get cooking. I'm sure all of Remy's recipes taste great, even the easy ones. You said it. Remy knows how to add a little bit of magic to even the simplest mm. dish and i bet you if you keep looking you'll find some recipes that are a bit more exciting i know remy would trust you with his recipes and i'm pretty sure you'll like making them hmm if i find more of remy's recipes maybe i could the only thing better than a tasty meal is a tasty meal shared with a friend <laughs> i agree i love eating with other people i love food in general i love cooking i love trying out different foods, um, different cuisines. But for some reason, I enjoy it a bit more when I'm eating with um, other people. So, I don't know. Maybe it's the Filipino in me and, you know, missing the fiestas back home and things like that. <laughs> First, we'll have to gather the ingredients. I'll go see what I've got in my garden. Meet me there when you want to make the fruit salad. Oh, what does Merlin have to say? My word, you've pulled the pickaxe from the stone. Oh, and... And look, now that the enchanted pickaxe is in the hands of someone worthy again, 
the blasted darkness that hung over the valley has finally disappeared. Um, unfortunately, I'm playing super late at night right now, so it's still going to be dark for the playthrough, but it was cool to have seen the daytime earlier. All right, off to the meadow. I see bubbling things. So the fishing rod, I see a chest there too. <laughs> fishing rod must be here then. There's a bunny! There's a bunny. I don't have carrots yet. I wonder if he'll like the apple too. Oh. All right, all right. We'll eat something. Let's have an apple. There's a little page here. A memory? Whose memory? Another diary fragment. Amusing rivalry lately. Scrooge can't for the life of him figure out why Goofy's stall is more profitable. Goofy started trying to help and that's going about as funly as Goofy's help always does. It's more profitable than um, Scrooge's shop. Is that what he meant? Here's a rod. Fishing expedition. We are just killing it, you guys. Oh, whose house? It seems to be blocked by thorn. Knock knock. Anybody home? It's Goofy! Hello? Uh, do you want to give him a broken rod? Sure. Is he gonna give us a nice one in return? Gosh, it's somebody new. Say, you're not the scary kind of stranger, are you? You're just a friend I haven't met yet, right? Of course I'm a friend. Phew, that's reassuring. It's been a real long time since I've seen anybody mm -hmm. else. I've been waiting for somebody to come along ever since the sky got dark and the night thorns crept in. But now you're here. Yeah, you were... How I wonder how long he was locked in with a thorn blocking his front door. <laughs> we're gonna be good pals, I just know it. Uh, if that ain't too forward. Gee, there's so much I want to show you. There's my stall. We'll have to clean it up though. And we can go fishing. Of course, I have to find my lucky fishing rod. Slow down, Goofy. I think I already found your rod. Only one problem. It seems to be broken. <laughs> Thanks, cat. Here, let me see. Oh, it was just jammed up with seaweed, but it's all fixed now. Tell you what, now that I have my lucky fishing rod back, I'll give you this one. I found after the forgetting, so we can fish together. I think it belonged to our old ruler. Hey, look, it seems to like you. And here's a groovy hat so you can look like a real angler. Thank you. What do you think of the hat? Pretty spiffy, huh? It's so stylish. It sure is. Say, maybe I could start my own line of goofware. I could give Uncle Scrooge some competition. Already, let me show you how to use your new rod. Yay, is that... That would be the last of the royal tools that we need, right? One moment, please. Another fragment. Glad to visit Goofy. He always has a kind word and a, such silly ideas, but he means so well and when he laughs I can't help but smile. This is so true. They all have such cute houses. I can't wait to decorate ours too. Something in the fridge. Another recipe. Oh, when did we get this? I forget. Ooh, gold treasure medallion. Yeah! We are so stylish. Look at us. We're getting so much clothes and I am obsessed because you guys know, uh, and I say it in every single game probably, but I love customizing characters. So we got fish soup. When can we get a kitchen? <gasps> a chest! I almost missed that. Yes. I'm loving the treasure hunt. 
Ooh, red athletic sunglasses. I almost read that as red aesthetic sunglasses. <laughs> I guess they're also aesthetic. Fishing around the valley, hold Y, aim at the ripples, and press A quickly every time the circle turns green. Sounds easy enough. I mean, any fishing is pretty easy compared to fishing in Stardew Valley, so... <laughs> <laughs> Oop, do we do that right? <gasps> we got a bite! Green! <gasps> oh no, did I mess up? I did, I totally did. Let's try again. Yep. What did we get? A rainbow trout! We got a How's rainbow trout. I was scared for a second that we were gonna get a sea bass. Have some PTSD from Animal Crossing. <laughs> what do you know, you're a natural cat. You can sell your fish at my stall as soon as we get it reopened, that is. Well, let's Whoa. get it reopened. How do we do that? Oh. How's we were going? right by it earlier, too. I guess it's more run down than I thought, but that's okay. Uncle Scrooge's construction company can fix it right up. It's about time Goofy fixed this place up. I'm glad he got you to help. Now let's get down to business. Goofy can have this stall at no extra cost since the valley needs it, but next time I won't be as generous. What say ye? Hey! Let's fix it. Goofy's stall is now open for business. If you see another property you're interested in, don't hesitate to let me know. Simply go to the sign next to it. See, you're not so greedy about money after all, Scrooge. He helped us with a free stall. That's so nice. <laughs> New level, we leveled up. Max energy increased and we got some kind of possibly a flooring. So strengthen friendships, level up, and it expands our energy. Looks like he wants to talk oh, to us. Greetings, neighbor. Well done, cat. With Goofy back in business, you can make ah. some money. Then when you're ready to invest in my grand reopening, come find my sign next to Scrooge's general store. Bye bye. Well, how much does it cost? Good day, dear. Are you ready to invest? As soon as I open the shop, there will be all sorts of furniture and clothing to purchase. You can trust me or my name isn't Scrooge McDuck. Ooh. 1,000 gold. Um, the shop won't open itself, you know. Come back when you're serious about investing in the valley. Look, um, I just need to save up a little bit more. I'm gonna build myself a garden oh right i almost forgot about mickey sorry about that gosh cat there isn't much left of my garden uh it's not so bad <laughs> thanks for being nice but i know it's a mess minnie definitely wouldn't be happy if she saw it like this okay the recipe says to prepare the fruit salad we need fruit like apples i bet you can find some around the village oh and you know what would be great with a fruit salad some crackers you want to make crackers and a fruit salad? Here are some seeds we can use. I think I have a couple. Um, thank you, thank you. More for my garden. <laughs> It'll be great to replace all those ugly night thorns with some nice plants. So long for now. I'm gonna do a little, little patch here. A little wheat patch. Oh, we got a new recipe. Let's plant some wheat, shall we? And water. Oh, look, you can water multiple spots at once. Nice and convenient. All right, Mickey, what's next? Oh my gosh, the music. It's frozen. I want to sing along. Just kidding. No. <laughs> I love all of the classic Disney movies because I definitely grew up watching all of them. But as far as newer movies go, or it's not as new anymore, but 
I guess more recent um, and the 3D animated um, Disney films. I absolutely love Frozen and then also Encanto. Those two are probably my current top favorites. Um, Encanto is high up there and then what was that other one too? Oh, Coco. I loved Coco. I love the music in Coco and Encanto and Frozen 1 and 2. Are we getting a kitchen now? I can't wait. Gosh, I guess we're still missing one very important ingredient. <laughs> the stove. He finds that real funny. Um, yeah, as you can see, we only have the bare minimum in our house right now, Mickey. You'll need one in your house before we can start cooking. Lucky for us, I've got an extra one. Access the furniture menu from the inventory, select furniture, customize your village, and visit Scrooge's store daily and increase friendship with him to unlock more furniture. I'm so obsessed with the music that's playing right now. <laughs> I love Disney so much. Let me know down below if you're playing along with me and if you're um, a Disney fanatic or Disney kid like I am. <laughs> um, I guess, yeah, we'll pop it under... Oh, look, we got some stuff. This is what we unlocked earlier. And we can change the wallpaper. Mickey Mouse Mod Melange wallpaper. How cute. Do we redecorate now? I know Mickey's waiting for us, but we have to redecorate now. <laughs> this is this is our abode for now. Very, 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 very Mickey themed. I hope you like it. <laughs> Mickey. What do you think? Okay. Interact with the stove. You'll need coal to power it up and combine different ingredients to discover new recipes. <gasps> oh, I love that. You can just throw a bunch of things together. Um, I know he said wheat. Oh, we can look at the recipe cards. So just wheat for the crackers and then for fruit salad, it looks like just any fruit also. But let's make the crackers for now nice and easy and let's make the fruit salad <gasps> that looks delicious but how did her apple also produce bananas and melons <laughs> oh boy it looks delicious cat i know one day remy will be back in dreamlight valley but in the meantime you're a really good chef Happy mm. to play my part. I just know you're gonna do a great job. Gosh, we sure are lucky to have you. <laughs> a new level. Ooh, unlock new roles. Select one of the roles below. Gardening, foraging. Is this roles for Mickey? Well, he seems to like gardening, so let's give him the gardening role. Well, <laughs> So many friends. Build friendship, hang out together, exchange gifts, discuss daily, watch your friendships grow. And you can go on adventures together too. Hang out with villagers and they'll help with your duties. Ooh. We did it! We've got all the um, well, hello. royal tools now. Bravo, well done cat. Not only have you driven back the darkness that was hanging over the village, but you found all the tools that were left by a previous ruler. With our enchantments, you're well armed to face what lies ahead. We need to do a few dreamlight duties and we can actually access it directly on our menu without having to um, go to the well every time. So we gotta catch three fish, bring a friend their favorite gift, feed a critter, sell two meals, mine two minerals, and have a daily discussion. Okay, well, since Scoopy's here. Oh, level up. We got some sunglasses from Goofy. Okay, let's do fishing for him since that's his thing. <laughs> that's pretty. What is that? It looks like something for the house again. There we go. Okay. We can, um. We should be able to get Scrooge's shop now. And then. What did we get for points? <gasps> oh, 
Will we have enough for the castle too? This is exciting. You guys. 2,000 dreamlight exactly. We're gonna run straight back. Oh wait, I totally mixed it up because Scrooge's shop is only a thousand. Let's open it up. Fireworks and everything. Oh, greetings, Bless neighbor. me bagpipes. I'm back in business. All I need now are some customers. I'm a customer. Oh, <laughs> and a good investment deserves a good return. These coins are for you. Use them to get anything you like. You're giving us money? <gasps> Thank you. So this pretty much just costs 600 coins then because we got 400 back. Oh my goodness <gasps> look at all the clothing look at this hair <gasps> 1500 we don't have enough oh right we're still hanging out with goofy i'm like why is he why is he following us okay Whoa. let's hang out later <laughs> thank Good you morning. for hanging out with us four thousand wait the clothes are so expensive this is only 160 but don't we get overalls earlier? 800 for this gown. <gasps> I might end up getting that. Not gonna lie. But oh, little Beauty and the Beast set. 200. A frozen throne. Oh my gosh, I want everything. A coffee maker. A computer. Is that an arcade machine? Oh my gosh, okay. Hold on, I need to do some maths here. We've got 1,400. He gave us 400 back. I really want this. I love Beauty and the Beast. Uh, just so you know, I've got some new goods at the store. Thank you. Yeah, we're doing it. It's all yours. And a very wise investment indeed. Goodbye now. Toodaloo. Wait, no. Good no. day, dear. Not goodbye. I want to buy more. <laughs> An excellent investment, Cat. You won't regret it. Be sure to come back and look over my stock often. I get new things in every day. I really, really want to get this. Do we have enough for this in the dress? Look at this dress, though. <laughs> Let's do it. We're doing it. We're having a shopping spree for bye this bye video. Bye. <laughs> yes. Pretty look teams, how neighbor. pretty. Modern casual. Casual gamer. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Looking at this item. Are you? Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We're going to have to do it. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. This place is the cat's pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Goofy's just having the time of his life. Let's track Merlin. I'm so excited. Merlin. Oh. I picked up Hello. something. Splendid. The dreamlight is pooling in the depths of the well. You now have enough dreamlight to repel the night thorns on the castle's door. We mustn't waste any time. Hurry, hurry. Off with you now. Let's unlock the dream castle, shall we? Here it is. Moment of truth. Oh, Things, well, they always seem to have a bit more magic when you're around, cat. Oh, my gosh. Hello. Focus your magic on the night thorns, cat. Uh, 2000 ah. Dreamlight. Bravo, cat, bravo. Now we can finally enter the dream castle. Thank you. We did it. Whoa. More night thorns. Where does oh, doors? I remember now, cat. It's not what's inside the dream castle. It's who. When a ruler left and the forgetting took over the valley, some of us stayed, while others decided to return to their realms. Each door before you leads to a different realm, a dream of their own world. The castle is full of doorways to other realms. Um, I want to explore new worlds. So I'm afraid they won't remember Dreamlight Valley, so it's up to you to find a way to bring them home. I see you have just enough Dreamlight left to unlock the first door. You must choose the first realm you want to step into. 
All right, my friends, I think this would be the spot where I end this first um, Let's Play preview demo of Disney Dreamlight Valley for the Nintendo Switch version. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're playing along with me, let me know down below. And now just quickly jumping into some Steam gameplay. So now I also just wanted to share a little bit of gameplay when I was trying this game out off of Steam as well. I wanted to test the cross saves and compatibility and as expected and as Gameloft promised, the cross saves does work seamlessly. Um, with that said, the gameplay, the graphics, um, the world, how everything renders is uh, quite noticeably different on the Nintendo Switch versus Steam. As you might be able to see, and I'm not sure if it will show well after the YouTube compression, but I can let you know that everything runs so much more smoothly on Steam and it does work perfectly on the Steam Deck as well. So I think for now, if I'm looking for like a handheld fix, if I'm at home, I will be playing on the Steam Deck and I quite enjoy playing on PC as well. As you can see here, placing objects, decorating, building especially is very, very easy using the mouse and keyboard compared to using a controller and the same goes for the Steam deck as well but of course with the Nintendo Switch only having an option to play um, using the controllers. I do really like the precision of mouse and keyboard when playing on Steam but for me my priority has always been playing on handheld and if I wasn't able to compare it side by side with the Steam gameplay then I'd be perfectly happy with playing it on the Switch as well and I understand that as with many other games on the Switch versus the PC counterpart or the Xbox or PlayStation counterpart, the Switch will see a little bit of a downgrade in terms of the graphics or the speed just because it is a less powerful console in comparison. I am running this on a spec'd out custom PC <laughs> on Steam and while this isn't even on the highest graphical settings, everything's just so much smoother, there's so much more detail. I didn't experience the lags um, in the world, the frame skips and drops as I mentioned when I was playing the Switch version. There was no slowdown or delay in the menus and again I'm hopeful just because it is the first day of the early access release that maybe they're still coming out with more patches and things could get ironed out some more um, on the Switch version, but nothing really game breaking. I think with a game like this as well, that's meant for us to just relax and slow down and take in everything. I'm not super concerned with, you know, high speed everything. It is a quality of life improvement for sure. And maybe all those loading screens and lags will add up eventually. Eventually, but again, I'm not super super bummed out about it. Now about the game itself. If I wasn't obvious enough while playing the game, I do absolutely love Disney Dreamlight Valley. Um, I want to make it clear that while I was given a review code by Gameloft, I purchased my copy on Nintendo Switch and all opinions are my own. This is just my style of game and I love that once you keep unlocking more things, the freedom just grows and grows and opens up even more as far as the exploration, the customization. And I've also been enjoying meeting old favorites from different Disney movies and just iconic Disney characters in general. And there's so much more to come. The gameplay that I'm showing um, right now on Steam is just a little bit after unlocking the castle. Um, I did have a different save file on Steam and this also includes the ultimate founders pack. Apart from the little extra bonus you know, dresses, headbands, the animal companions. It really doesn't play differently at all. You get a lot of clothing and items early on, um, even just with a base pack. And I thought it looked pretty cute in my playthrough, not gonna lie. <laughs> so if you're still considering which one to buy, you can definitely live without the bonus items in the ultimate and deluxe versions of the Founders Pack and just get away with the base pack. And if you're way more strong-willed than I am, then you can also wait for this game to be completely free once it comes out um, officially 
uh, after early access in 2023. And those are just my early thoughts and first impressions of Disney Dreamlight Valley. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any questions feel free to drop them down below. I'm thinking of doing a cute little beginner's guide or just other tips for you know new players and things like that because I do really really like this game so far. Anyways, if you made it to the end, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you guys as always. Take care of yourselves and I will see you next time.